Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel, AI Jigyasa. I'm Ashish, your host, and today we're going to look at a, at one model, which is a very tiny model, not that tiny, but compared to other competitors and other models that is already out there, it is it is very a uh, small model, average model, and it does wonders. This image model that we are talking about today is Z Image Turbo. Tongi MAI. It's by Alibaba, and this model is so good. I have tried this, and uh, I am amazed by the capability realism that this uh, model offers. There are a lot of advantage of this model, and we're going to talk about that, and we're going to use this model also. As you already know, there are like uh, tons of models like Quinn, uh, Flux, uh, some paid models like Imagine Four, and Nano Banana is here. And Banana 2 is here and Flux 2 is also here. So uh, to be honest, I cannot run it, uh, the BF16 model, because it was 32 GB at that time, right? The, and the model is getting bigger and bigger in size. But now this with this model, the image uh, Z image turbo model, and it's a turbo model right now. Uh, the main model, the base model is not released yet. So we're going to see how it performs it compared to Flux Pro and Nano Banana Pro, right? Which is like state of the art models, right? You cannot compete with these kind of models, but this is the Z image turbo model is an open source model. And we're going to see how it going to compete with these giant models, right? So let me show you some, this is a page and I'll share this page, uh, this link in the description for you to see if you want some other information about this uh, model. Uh, this is only 6 billion parameter model. The inference speed is very fast. And uh, as you can see, it's it takes only eight steps to generate an image. I can run it on my GPU uh, on my PC with eight, uh, 12 GB VRAM and I can use it in my laptop also, which has 3078 GB VRAM only. So it is surprisingly good this model is surprisingly good because it can run on your on your desktop with only 8 gb vram and you can i think you can run it also in 6 gb vram too so try it and let me know in the comments if you are running this on 6 gb vram right like i don't know this is a very competitive model for quen also so yeah i'm waiting for this one and as you can see showcase the images these images are so good i can't read all of this because it's in chinese but as you can see this is too much i mean this is too much i know all of this is not um you cannot generate this this much uh, text in an image right it is very difficult for nano banana pro also like if you can create like it cannot create a whole essay but a lot of lines it can create right none of none it's a very big model and as you can see this this we can do this obviously you can create posters you can create uh some ads ad copy so this is great for that also right and some prompt enhancing reasoning it's reasoning within the image it's creating an image you're giving a question and it's creating an image giving you that answer how great is that right how cool is that i mean i cannot read this but something is happening here right <laughs> so this is good creative image editing uh, we are not there right now but and this is also a chart of ranking basically and uh, as you can see this z image turbo model is already on the fifth place by alibaba right the first one is image imagine 4 ultra because it can create 4k images out of the gate right uh, 2.5 flash image preview that is also by google right nano banana and the 3 pro image preview this is also like nano banana and c dream c dream is so good i like c dream so much because it creates a very realistic but the camera angles, the contrast, the colors, the saturation is on point. Sea Dream is so good. I have used it so many times and uh, I like every single image that came out of Sea Dream. And right after Sea Dream 4 is Z image model. How cool is that, huh? 
and it is a very small model right cd3 is under that quan image uh, which is like after cd3 um i would put quan image above cd3 but i can understand cd3 is a very big model i mean it's not a small model and these are not even on the picture gpt1 come on gpt is like um old news all right so if you want to learn about more about this model you can just come to this page and go check out their papers right okay let's start confuse and see how we can use this model so this is uh, this is the default workflow we're going to change this before that you need to download some models which models uh, where you can find these models i will put this in description or in the workflow you can get the all the links to download this model and where to save it so you have to come to comfy org um, hugging face page and you'll find models here diffusion model this is the model and see this it's just 12 gb model right and it's a full bf bf16 model it's not a quantized model it's a full bf16 model and it's only 12.3 because it's a turbo model right so if you click on here have to go to comfy ui comfy ui models and then diffusion model i have already done it downloaded it here okay then after that go to text encoder download this where to put this you have to put it in models comfy ui models and text encoders here download here it's a quen3 and it is very um it's a very good model to basically understand the text that you're going to write right your prompts you're going to follow precisely that and uh, va also the, it's i think it's using the flux va but if you are not sure i mean if you want to still download this so you can download it and uh, put it in va you can put it here all right we're done with the models now what we are going to do is go to comfy ui just open your comfy ui this is your model i mean default workflow let me create the workflow now so i've created the whole um, workflow so these are some prompts that i already generated and we're going to use this to basically generate images so i basically i've uh, created extreme close up shots written text to basically generate text and see how it performs Con contrast scene one samurai scene like uh, just a a movie scene basically where the colors are and uh, something as you can see that the the prompt is very well um, created it's not a very big detailed i think prompt but i think this is is enough uh nowadays because uh the models are very smart now right we don't need too much of data because there is some context window after all right so um this is like kind of a um json prompt very simple one as you can see the subject is there the lighting and palette is there the technical the what kind of camera we are using what lens we are using right and and overall a single prompt right this is what that is and another is chef one is dynamic shot so these are some uh, images that we are going to create and uh, we are going to complete or uh, sorry compete with another models right see how it um creates images um in comparison to other like nano banana pro and flux pro let's see so as you can see i've created the whole thing and these are some uh renders that i've already uploaded so we can see it in real time um simple let me just go through the whole uh, setup here and this is the load diffusion model you have to load your model z turbo here uh, load clip model quen3 4 billion parameter lumina2 you can use lumina2 and uh, uh, just stay like by default let it sit here and then load va go a the flux va you can use that and then i have i am using the chef uh, one because we're going to compare that first and so the reason i'm creating this image in full hd is because see i 
I don't think I can create an image with flux model with this uh, latent size because it's going to take a lot of time to create that image, right? And I don't think it it generates that good of a quality when it comes to higher resolution. So this model performs better. Uh, I put the prompt here and let's just see what happens. All right. <laughs> so first render is there and the quality is so good like this. Just look at this right no hallucination at all i don't see anything the textures are so good look at the smoke look at the plate and <laughs> the thing that is just in freezing out there right look at the photorealistic quality of this image this is so good i'm so happy to see some a single model is capable of doing all of this and it just it's just six billion parameter like wow uh, I cannot compare it with Nano Banana because I've been using Nano Banana for past, I think, a month or two. The glasses uh, is just going here. Like it, it tells a story. What is happening here, right? And look at this. The everything is on the air. It's a shot. It's a very good shot. Flux Pro 2, obviously, but it's a pro model. These models are very high model. These are paid models, and this is also good. If I can use some filtration or some LoRa, and this this will be even cooler. This will, it's the this the output will be much better, right? This is amazing. I'm not saying this is bad. This is also an amazing output, but an open source model. This is also good. And this is a 1080p. All right. Now you already seen the, what kind of result it's giving. And uh, let's uh, try another one. Let's go with Samurai one because I've also created this one in uh, 2K. So it's done. And as you can see, there is like, obviously I cannot compare with this one. This is, this looks so good. The writings and everything the text uh the details on this image is the camera angle at the camera lens is also different not just a straight one like this but this is again i'm i'm happy with this image too just look at it how um similar this image is it understand what i want like it precisely follow that but it's an open source model and it does this good. Like I, so let's create another one. So these are the only two that I have created in 2K. And let's go back to 720 because I don't want to take a lot of time uh, making these images. So, so let me show you one more thing. Like if you can see here, the first one, the first generation took two minutes, 30 seconds. Use uh, sage attention or flash attention you can cut it down to around i guess a minute or so let's create another image um let's do a macro shot it's a macro shot of a matchstick the contrast is so good here as you can see the blacks are nice right the details are very fine here but this is also not that bad as you can see, there is a spark. There is no burn there. It's like this. There is something going on. The destruction is happening here. Not here, but this is still good enough. So let's go to another one. I'm going to share these prompts with you so um, you can see the structure and you can get the best out of it. Uh, let's go with a written text. Let's see how it do good. Let's how it see it created the whole image in under 32 seconds. Uh, before that, 52 seconds. It fluctuate, but it gives you uh, a 720p half HD image in uh, under a minute. So Flux Pro 2. I don't see this. What is this? Like uh, someone uses hand. I don't. It doesn't look like that. But it's still following the prompt like they are already inside do not open open the door look behind you now i mean it's good but that not that good nano banana is like i mean again top notch look at the uh, light uh, passing from here to here it's so good they are already inside do not open the door look behind you now and this is this now i can see but uh, it's in very dark 
see the everything is so good the the uh what do you call it the fog is uh the blurriness of the glass you can see it's very good you can see the fine details of uh water dripping down from here and this is our output using the uh, z image model and this is also so good they are already inside do not open the door look behind you now there's some space here but it's fine right i mean it generate the text beautifully it understand also as you can see the people uh, the person is also behind uh, or the reflection of the person is also here but there is not no one here so i think nana banana is the winner and the image model is the second one in this one let's create one more and let's do faster so i don't take much of your time i think nice the z image model doesn't perform well here but it's fine i like the flux pro model render like this look at this image this is so good i mean the details on this um the mountains that is on uh, some another planet it's made of uh, skulls so beautiful this is so good nano nano also does the same thing but it it's not it just um the interpretation is different but this is i mean yeah sure it doesn't perform everywhere but i i like the i like the output overall i understood the assignment i guess all right one more and that's it okay let's change the prompt uh, i am uh, i basically use the prompt for reference or uh, sorry reflection and reflex reflection check and this is the flux pro uh flux pro generation is obviously so good as you can see the reflection on this uh man figure there is some reflection also i can see the behind the person this is also good there is some like figure person person of a figure and this is by nano banana and the z image model price but still fine the colors are fine it needs more realism like this one this is more cinematic uh the composite uh the colors and everything this one is more coherent to the prompt the person looks uh like a person and this looks um good or i'll say 8 billion a 6 billion parameter model so yeah it has a lot of potential okay and this is only a turbo model it's not even the base model so i'm waiting for the base model and once it got out i'll uh create another tutorial for that like how you can use it for um for creating images that is outstanding and competing with uh, paid models so uh yeah for uh, for now use this create images and if you haven't subscribed subscribe and also join my discord so i i because i post these images and workflow there for free and if you like the video thumbs up and see you in the next one bye bye mm -hmm.